Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Physio Trends. Today I am going to tell you all the reason behind why some people walk with internal rotation in the hip and why some people walk with external rotation in the hip joint. Yes, most of the time it can be relevant with the musculoskeletal conditions that uh, some muscles are tight, some muscles are loose and because of that patient is having that abnormality in the gait. But sometimes it happens that there is an abnormality in the structure and that structural abnormality what we call it, it is called as antiversion and retroversion in the femoral head. My dear friends, we all have seen femur and we know that there is an angle between the shaft and the neck of the femur. But also there is a torsion in between the condyles and the head of the femur. And that torsion is normally between 30 degrees when we are born. Like in children, we can see that the torsion is around 30 degrees. But by the time we grow, that angle comes between the 8 to 15 degrees. If there is any abnormality in that, that can cause antiversion or retroversion. So now normally you will notice that whenever the internal rotation is more, we will see antiversion and those patients, patients will have tendency walking with internally rotated hip and also we will find squinting patella in those patients. And those patients who have more of retroversion, they will have more habit of walking with more of external rotation in the hip joint. And to test it, we perform this Craig's test. And I am going to demonstrate you how to perform this Craig's test. Now to perform this test, first of all, patient has to be in prone lying position. Then whichever that side you have to test it, that side we are going to flex the knee joint like this. And then we need to palpate the greater trochanter over the side of the patient. Like wherever you feel the maximum prominence over the bone, that is what we call it as lateral tubercle. So that is what you have to palpate, okay? And after that, you need to, from the neutral position, you try to go in the internal rotation or external rotation. While performing this, whichever the point you feel that there is a maximum protrusion over the greater trochanter, that position you should hold and then measure the angle in between from the like normal neutral position to the angle which is formed for the tibia. So I'm just going to do that also now. I'm just going to stabilize that position and use the goniometer to find the angle. So goniometer is going to be perpendicular to the plinth stable arm will be exactly straight and i'm going to move this movable arm just parallel to the tibia and then i'm going to find out what is the angle over here so as you can see it is almost near to 11. so normal angle for this particular condition is 8 to 15 degree and if it is beyond that we call it as antiversion if it is coming during the internal rotation and if it is coming during the external rotation, then we call it as retroversion. So I hope you have understood the concept of Craig's test, antiversion and retroversion. If you still have any doubts, do let me know in the comment section.